Okay, now that we've mastered the three original trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, we are now going to try to focus more on cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Remember, these were the inverses of sine, cosine, and tangent. The first one, cosecant, is the inverse of sine. So whatever you get for sine, you just flip its answer to get cosecant. The second one, secant, is the inverse of cosine. So whatever answer you get for cosine, just flip the answer to get the answer for secant. And then the last one is cotangent, which is the inverse of tangent. So whatever you get for tangent, just flip the uh, fraction around. Okay, and then we also have these two unit circles. One is in green and one is in blue. The green one is used for 45, 45, 90 degree triangles. Also, um, when we're dealing with radians, anything over 4. So 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, anything with um, something over 4. The blue one is used for 30, 60, 90 right triangles, or if we're dealing with radians, anything over 6, like 1 pi over 6 or 2 pi over 6. Let's go ahead and do some examples in degrees. We've done degrees for a while now. Um, secant of 45 degrees. Let's go ahead and find where 45 degrees is. It is right there. There's our triangle. Remember, secant is the inverse of cosine. So cosine is adjacent which is right there, radical 2 over 2, but that would be the answer for cosine. To get the answer for secant, we just flip that to get 2 over radical 2, and then rationalizing it by multiplying the top and the bottom by radical 2 gives you just radical 2. The next example, cotangent of 240 degrees. Go ahead and take a second to figure out where 240 degrees is on the unit circle. All right. There it is, 240 degrees. Draw in our little triangle. Cotangent is the inverse of tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. There's the adjacent, there's the opposite. Notice they're both negative because it's going in the negative direction for the one half and it's also going negative uh, in, in the direction for radical three over two. Okay, normally tangent would be opposite over adjacent, but since we're doing cotangent, you flip that to adjacent over opposite. So there it is, adjacent over opposite. When you have a fraction over a fraction, you flip the bottom fraction and multiply it to the top. Simplify it. You get 1 over radical 3. But then radical 3 uh, needs to be rationalized to get radical 3 over 3. Let's do cosecant of negative 300 degrees. Now negative means we go clockwise, uh, the opposite of what we normally do. So let's go ahead and find where negative 300, and, mm, negative 300 degrees is. There it is, negative 300 degrees. Draw in our triangle. Now cosecant is the inverse of sine. Sine is the opposite side. There it is, radical 3 over 2. But since we're doing cosecant, we just flip that answer around to 2 over radical 3. Rationalize it. Again, multiply the top and the bottom by radical 3. And you should get 2 radical 3 over 3. Let's do cotangent. 
cotangent of 540 degrees. 540 degrees actually is too big. The reduced coterminal angle for 540 degrees is 180 degrees. You just subtract 360. Let's look at where that is on the unit circle. There it is, 180 degrees. Notice when it's on the court, on the axis, then you cannot draw a triangle, but instead we use the coordinates, negative one comma zero. All right, and then since we're doing cotangent, it would be adjacent over opposite usually, but since there's no adjacent or opposite, we use the coordinates, x over y. Here's x over y, which is negative one over zero, and anything over zero is undefined. Let's do some radians example. Let's find secant of 11 pi over six. Here it is. Let's try to figure out where 11 pi over six is. Remember, over six means you're gonna use the 30, 60, 90 unit circles. So let's count all the way around. There's one pi over six, two pi over six, three pi over six, four pi over six, five pi over six, six pi over six, seven pi over six, eight pi over six, nine pi over six, 10 pi over six, and finally 11 pi over six is right there. Draw in our triangle. Secant is the inverse of cosine. Cosine is adjacent, which is right here. So all we gotta do is flip that answer, which gives us two radical three over three. Let's do cosecant pi over four. Let's figure out where pi over four is. It's just one pi over four, which is the first tick mark. Let's draw in our triangle. Cosecant is the inverse of sine. Sine is the opposite side, which is radical two over two. So all we have to do is flip that answer and then rationalize to get radical two. Next up, cotangent of pi over two. Now, if you don't know where pi over two is yet from memory, you can change it to something over six or something over four. I decided to change that to over four. So pi over two is the same thing as two pi over four. Let's count. One, two pi over four is right there. Of course, it reduces down to pi over two. And then it's also on the axis, the y-axis. So we cannot draw a triangle. So instead, we're going to use the coordinates, zero comma one. Cotangent is usually um, adjacent over opposite, but since there's no adjacent or opposite, we can just use uh, x over y. In this case, x is zero and y is one, which reduces down to zero. Our last one for the day, cotangent of two pi over three. All right. Again, if you don't know where two pi over three is, you can change it to over six, which is cotangent of four pi over six. Now let's count together. One pi over six, two pi over six, three pi over six. There it is, four pi over six, which is the same thing as two pi over three draw our little triangle. Again, cotangent is 
adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Notice our one half is negative because it's going in the negative direction, and then three radical three over two is the positive. Let's do adjacent over opposite. There it is. Adjacent over opposite. You have a fraction over a fraction, so take the bottom fraction and then take its reciprocal and multiply it to the top fraction. Simplify it. You have negative 1 over radical 3, but you're not allowed to have a radical 3 in the denominator. To rationalize it, you have to multiply the top and the bottom by radical 3 to get negative radical 3 over 3. And that's it. That's all we have for today.